my name is John Barnes. If you don't know me, uh, Mr. Barnes, you'll have the kids, Mr. B. Um, and I am one of the band directors here at East St. Louis Senior High School. I welcome you tonight to our spring concert. Um, it's really, really nice to see a lot of familiar faces, both former students and parents and um, friends who are here to, to support our kids. Um, this should be a night of rejoicing in all the hard work the kids have done. So you're gonna hear, not only as you can see in your program, not only full band pieces, but also the solos that were done by um, kids who went to solo and ensemble contest. We only sent three soloists for instrumental this year, and all of them were rated division one, which is really, really cool. So you're... So you're gonna hear from all three of them. But with that, I do present to you, before I present to you, the East St. Louis Senior High School Band, um, I would like to invite Ms. Aaliyah Coast up, who is gonna give the invocation. Gracious Heavenly Father, we come to you, thank you for the many blessings you have bestowed upon us. We ask that you bless the hearts and hands and bless the woodwind section and the grand section and the percussion section. Let us do a great job. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 The first lecture we're going to do for you tonight is a march. Um, the bands that you know in the high schools and the middle schools come from a military tradition. So marches are part of what we do whether we're on the street or we're inside. Um, the march we're gonna do is called His Honor by Henry Fillmore, and I'd like to invite Ms. Sierra Rencher to come up and tell you a little bit about this piece. Much of it under a soul name than any other composer or band master in history. His irrepressible talent for marches produced a string of masterpieces uniquely of his own flavor, and among the most outstanding of them is his honor. Fillmore dedicated this march to Mayor Russell Wilson of Cincinnati, where he grew up. It was his first performed in 1930.
The next piece is a piece that I have played with another band several years ago. Um, it's a great, not only piece of music, but it's also a great educational tool. And in order to tell you about that piece, which is Air for Band, I'd like to invite Ashanti Gates to come forward. studied music playing piano and trumpet and composed while in high school. He arranged music for army bands during World War II and received degrees from the University of Southern California. He taught at the same university and has more than 250 com compositions and arrangements for bands to his credit. The term air refers to a tuneful melody, whether vocal or instrumental. The term used to describe musical pieces for at least 400 years accurately describes this 20th century work. Since it was first published in 1956, Everband was helps, has helped several gener generations of band musicians develop their ability to play a sustained line to listen for the moving part to improve their intonation while playing. This piece features a wonderful melody, graceful harmony, harmony and sk skillful contrapuntal writing.
Next on your program are the soloists who went to solo and ensemble competition on March 2nd of this year at Alton High School. And all three of them are Division I ratings. Um, you can get a Division I, Division II, Division III, Division IV, and Division V. Division I means they're doing great. They're fantastic. That's the highest division rating they can get. Um, the first soloist we're going to hear from is Kiara Staples. She is a senior. And I, I'm not going to talk about everybody on the program, but Kiara came to us as a freshman, and I think a beginner as a freshman. And I remember the very first flu lesson during marching band. Um, and she has come a long way in the four years that she has been in band. And to have her be able to play on her senior spring concert is a very, very special and a tribute to how hard she works. She is playing Gabat from Paris and Helen by um, Christophe Willebald Ritter van Gluck. That's why I'm reading it. That's a mouthful. He was born in 1714 and he died in 1787. He was a composer of opera during the early classical period, born in what is now Germany, and he worked in Vienna and later in Paris. A gavotte is an old French dance in a moderately quick two-beat feel. This dance piece is taken from the end of Act Three of his opera, Paris and Helen. It was first performed in Vienna in 1770, and it tells the story of when Paris of Troy seduced Helen of Sparta to leave her home beginning the Trojan War. You might recognize this myth because it was recently adapted for the movie Troy in 2004, starring Brad Pitt and Orlando Bloom. So here is Gavat, Kiara Staples.
as you can tell, that piece is of very, very difficult character. Uh, I have a friend who's a professional flautist in the area. When I told her that my high school player was working on that piece, she was very, very impressed. So we're all very proud of Morgan. The final soloist is Jaira Johnson, who'll be playing a sonata for you. Um, and to trade favors, now Morgan is gonna come up and introduce her piece. Henry Eccles, born, 19, born 1670, died 1742, was an English composer and violinist who played in the court of French King Louis XIV. Known as the Sun King, Louis XIV, 72 year reign, ushered in a golden age of art and literature. This period in art history is known as the Baroque, as Baroque when paintings looked as realistic as photographs, architecture was highly decorated with sculptures and music was highly decorated and virtu virtuosic. A sonata is an instrumental musical piece, typically of three or four movements in contrasting forms and keys. Sonata for E-flat alto saxophone and piano, originally written for violin, possibly string bass, showcases the soloist skill through both song-like lyricism and technical virtuosity. Ladies and gentlemen, J.R. Johnson. <laughs> Thank you. 
I always tell the kids that we are only as strong as our weakest link, and therefore as we get stronger as individuals. Um, and you can see we are very strong as individuals. And um, as you can hear, we are very strong collectively. The last piece we're gonna play, oh, I'm sorry. I have some seniors who put up with me for four years. So I have to acknowledge that. And when I do, please step forward and to accept the applause that you've earned for four years of me torturing you. <laughs> um, our section leader in the percussion section, Mr. Terry on Pete. Also in the percussion section is Amaya Douglas. Amaya has taken choir with me this year and she has been instrumental and so helpful to bring the same attitude of excellence to the choir that she has with the band. Um, in the tuba section, his first year on tuba, Montez Lewis. If I ever have to make my own dictionary with the definition of hard work and steadfastness, is that really a word? Okay, Montez is the picture I'm gonna put right there next to it. And Ms. Kiera Staples on the floor. Is Brittany Newburn in the house? Or Tiaja Lee? We had two uh, members of the flag team who were also seniors, and they've been acknowledged at other events, but I always acknowledge them because they put in a lot of time this year, too. <laughs> seniors, thank you. <laughs> Our last piece is called Sun Dancing. And I'd like to invite to the podium Ms. Caitlin Burris to tell you all about it. David Schaefer, born in Columbus, Ohio, is a, free, a freelance composer, arranger, and clinician, and is on the music department faculty of Miami University, where he is the director of the Miami University Marching Band. He has over 300 compositions and arrangements in print, and has been the recipient of the Standard Award in Music Composition from the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publ uh, Publishers for 15 straight years. Now about the piece. As the sunlight passes through the sun catcher, it intensifies, clarifies, and dances lyrically through the color prisms, providing splashes of color texture throughout the room. From the joyous, open, the joyous opening statements through beautiful flowing and lyrical middle section to the blazing finale, sun dancing is a musical portrait of the simple but intensely beautiful sun catcher.
We do have uh, some very, very special parents to thank. Um, Ms. Henrietta Pete, all the way in the end. <laughs> Proud mother of Terry Ann Pete. I hope you all enjoyed this program. Thank <laughs> you.